Um, I'm running out of names for these videos, so because we're, we've just been solving trig equations repeatedly over and over. We're going to call these more complicated trig equations. That's, that's not the official name, that's just I don't know what to call this video. So we're going to say more complicated trig equations. Maybe I should have called it something like uh, more intriguing trig equations so that you wouldn't feel like automatically this lesson is going to be difficult. <laughs> More exciting, more creative. No, no crying, no crying. Okay. Uh, so so uh, here's here's the first example. And for these, um, we are definitely gonna we're gonna do all solutions, and then I'm gonna show you from zero to two pi because these problems are kind of weird. But I think I think you guys will pick it up and be okay. And the reason I think you'll pick it up and be okay is because I have like taught this really horribly in the past, and now I know how to teach it well. <laughs> because I've like way bombed it before, okay? So I, I know how to not bomb it now. Okay, so the big difference today is that now we're going to start changing the period of the function. We haven't really done that before, and it changes the number of answers that you have. So we've been used to kind of having like two answers, right? On the unit circle, you have like the two answers, and you have the plus two pi k. Um, things are going to be a little bit changed for this, okay? So some of